Stories from the underbelly of a faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Ben. And I'm Finlay. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs after deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf Karen and her lawyer Luena. Miss Wolf, you've been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Well, it turns out that it was my hay fever playing up with the materials of the houses and not me huffing and puffing to try and get the little piggies. What do you think about this, Mr Lawyer? Well, as you may see, my client's answer is very accurate and efficient. Therefore, it's not his fault that the pharmacies, the pills that the pharmacy has is ridiculous. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bear wolf, really? The big bear wolf is a person, well, me, of course, that all that I really want is friends and deep inside I'm a nice and humble person. What do you have to say to the good people of the faraway land who think that you're no more than just a dangerous criminal? Well, if they think that they can just deal with it because I think that I'm a good person and if they think that I'm a bad person, they can deal with it. What's your thoughts, Mr Lawyer? As you see, the people of the faraway whatever is over-exaggerating. It's not my client's fault that they're Their minds are corrupt. Yeah. True, true. Well, thanks for the thoughts, Mr Wolf and lawyer. Good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for the news of escaped heroes Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their oriel and their new books, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Books released in the deep dark forest, the scene at the terrible tale. Hello, I'm here. I'm your reporter Jared with here with Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now after finding all the jewels in the old witch's house. How are you planning on spending it? I plan on spending it on lollies and taking big fancy cruise ships around the world. How about you, Hansel? Uh, probably giving it to charities and starting up my own business. Very good. Hansel. After being fattened up for eating, how have you burned off all this fat? I'm um, going to the gym every morning, six till nine, and pumping the weights out and keeping away from breadcrumbs. Good. What have you learned from this experience? Um, I learned teamwork. How about you, Hansel? Uh, how to steal which. Very good. Well, thank you for having spending your time here and give you good luck for this ongoing problem. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the w woods that all is not tell well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter, Alika. Thanks, Ben, and hello, everyone. I'm Alika here at the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast, and hello is smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic story when two opposites fell in love against the odds. How is it all going with you two? It's horrible. He smells. <laughs> oh. Her dress is hideous. Oh, whoa. Now, you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What's the reality of living with someone who's completely different from you? It's a disaster. He leaves hair everywhere. It's disgusting. You need, you need good hygiene. You need to. 
She puts too much perfume. It stinks. Oh. It sounds like you need a new perfume there. Your, re your recent duo album did not sell well. Your fashion label has gone burst. What's next for you two lovebirds? Ugh, I'm getting a divorce. I need a new wife. Oh, whoa, calm down the farm right there. Thank, thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. Hope things get better with you too. Back with you in the studios. Thanks, Alika. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Benson, who will have the far, fairest weather of them all this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. There will be sun in, in the north with fill your boots until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down land to the green fields, there will be it will make it snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap it up with a warm, wrap up warm if you are living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it is going to be freezing. Finally, trolls living under bri bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. That's from us. Thank you. Wrap up warm and, and down in the south because there will be a chance of meatballs and a heavy rain. That's, so all. that's all from us. Thanks, Benson and Ryan. Finally, tonight, long-haired tower driller Rapunzel is sung on the Sleeping Beauty hair salon. Her stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hairdryer. The result was a haircut so terrible it threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's our reporter, Ali. Thank you. I'm here outside court where the first day of the lawsuit has just finished. And here comes Princess Rapunzel and her stylist now. Rapunzel, how did you feel when you saw what happened to your hair? I was just outraged. I woke up to finding my hair all gone and it wasn't even the right color. I mean, really, my stylist did a terrible job and now I'm left like this for more than a, like a, even a year. I mean, that's just terrible. It's such like hideous work. I can't believe that happened to you. So, what would you like to say to the owner of the Sleeping Beauty Salon for ruining your hair, career, and your reputation? I would like to say she is just terrible at doing hair. I don't even know why she signed up for this. I mean, even, even Flinny broke up with me. And I just, I miss him so much, you know? I'm sorry that happened to you. Um, well, what are you going to do now that your hair's ruined? Can it be fixed? In response to my terrible stylist, I'm suing her for doing this. And because of it, I had to break up with Flynn. It was so depressing. And I just, I'm suing her because she did a terrible, she fell asleep on the job. I mean, can you believe that? And now my life is ruined. And I just, I can't, I can't talk about this anymore. It's just so, my popularity is down. And my picture is just ruined, and I don't know what to do anymore. I'm so sorry that happened to you, but um, not cool, Mrs. Young. Um, well, th thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you for your time, Princess Rapunzel, M Mrs. Rapunzel, and Mrs. Young. Back to the studio. That's all for tonight. Although we've had. We've have just had a word with the big bad wolf. He has escaped jail since our interview. He is hungry, angry, and on a, the prowl. Keep your doors locked and stay safe from the whole team up there at Once Upon a Crime. Good, Good night. night.